Hey everybody, today I am going to install some brake pads on the KTM 350 EXCF, the 2017. I just noticed the other evening they are actually worn down pretty well. So uh, what we're going to do is put on uh, Tusk brake pads. There's the two part numbers. Now I'm doing the front and the rear. I'm only going to show you the rear because it's a little, it's a little easier to film. Uh, because the front is the same exact procedure, but the caliper is basically upside down. So you're working from the bottom. It would just be a little too tough for me to film. So I'm going to go ahead and set up and uh, pop these back ones in for you. And you can see how it goes. Alright folks, today I'm going to do a quick uh, brake pad swap out. I got uh, some new Tusk brake pads right here. These are for the rear. This is a KTM 350, a 2017. Uh, now the first thing I do is take something, you don't want to hurt your rotor so you can use something plastic or something like that. What I do is put it in between the rotor and the outside pad and you can just gently pry and you can get your uh, you want to get your brake drum and your caliper pushed in so that it's out of the way and you can get your new pads in now you have a pin here that pulls up and one in here that retains your uh, slider retaining pin for your brake pads. Just take a pair of pliers, pull them up, and you can push your pin out towards the center of the bike. See so there, the pads drop right down. Take your pad out. Now on this one, the outside, where you're going to have this little shim uh, holder right here. You've got to take that off and put it on your other outside pad. Just got these little tabs. You pull them up, slide it off. There's what it looks like. Get it on the right, right pad. How about that? There we go. Gotta take it. Put your little tabs over. Slide them on. You want to make sure the there's a little shim in here. Make sure that's up and under so this sits down. And of course, your other pad, the inside pad, needs nothing. Set your new pad in. Make sure you're down on the shelf. You'll just have this lower piece here is just going to lay down in. There's a notch down in the bottom here and this will lay right in. It's going to be a little tight to slide it in, but it'll go. Now, you just got to find your rod. Uh, now this, this retaining pin, I did already clean this off a little bit real good. Make sure it's nice and smooth. 
I guess you could probably smear a little bit of grease on there, but if you get grease on there, then you start to get a lot of dirt retaining on it, uh, and the pads won't slide as easy. Find the hole. Get your pin back in. Get your pad lined up. Then you got to come through and get your second one lined up. And you get your retaining pin right there. That's what the bottom looks like. And this slides over. You gotta get in front of the camera here. Just put the pin in the hole. Sometimes you gotta give it a little turn. This one's trying to be a tough guy. There. Put both your pins in. Pad should be set. There you go. Not too bad, pretty easy. On a KTM, just pulling the pins and sliding them in. Now I have to, uh, here's the pads. These were, uh, these pads have, uh, 1,300 miles on them. I don't know if it's going to focus there. You can see how much pad is worn, uh, compared to what was on there. It's down to about a sixteenth of an inch or so, and they're actually probably supposed to be about three sixteenths of an inch. That's 1,300 miles of somewhat easy riding on these Brembo pads. Uh, so we'll see how the tusks hold up compared to these. Time to do the front. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.